Uh, thoughts on uh, the WWE CM Punk issues and Punk walking out of the company? Yeah, you know, Punk was... He kind of reminds me of Dolph in the sense that super talented, awesome guy, awesome worker, but never 100% happy. And, and uh, I don't know if it's... Was he ever happy in, in life itself or...? Yeah, I, I, okay. he's, he's, he's a happy guy. Okay. But, you know, a lot of people, and this is in life in general, not just in wrestling, if they want to be here and they're here, they're focused on the, the discrepancy between the two instead of where you're at. And he is, like, he was the champion of the WWE. He's not a big guy. Um, he was at the top. And if he goes through his career and looks back and is not happy, that's just sad to me because he had an awesome career. And he's a really good wrestler. And whether it's... And there's some things that aren't fair. I, I caught that right, right off the bat. I busted my ass all year. This guy shows up from being off and he gets a match at Mania. He comes back once a year for a match at Mania. This guy's coming back for a match at Mania. I'm like, <clears throat> well, how about us? We just got our asses kicked all year. I get it. But that's, that's the business. And those are the rules and that's the way it's going to be. Take it or leave it. I'll, I'll take it. You know? I and, and he didn't want to take it. He said, that's it. I'm out of here. And you know what? That takes balls, man. Think he'll ever be back? Uh, there's always an opportunity. Of course, you know, Vince is a businessman. Yeah. If it's going to make money, and it would make money. Imagine he comes back. Imagine CM Punk versus Seth Rollins, WrestleMania, whatever. That's a massive match. How do you think Punk's going to fare in uh, MMA? Punk is a super hard worker. And, you know, if he's been off for years, he's been training hard for years. And he's able to, he's an intelligent guy too, very smart guy. He's able to assess his strengths and weaknesses. Like CM Punk's the kind of guy, this, he's always keeps himself in great shape. <clears throat> he um, came back from a European tour. His sister was running a marathon and said, come and do it. He did it. He ran a marathon without training for a marathon. So he's mentally tough, obviously. Um, he's, I hope he's been fighting a lot because you got to time those punches. I know he did martial arts as a kid. Hopefully he's been working on his striking a lot. You know, he's also, he's, he's been, I know he's been working on his jujitsu ju and he's been working with some pretty damn good guys. Uh, he can do well. He can do well. I hope it's because he has some injuries too, right? His, yeah. His back and his stuff like issues. that. So I'm actually really looking forward to the fight. I want to see, I want to see him do well. I want to see him knock the shit out of somebody because then guess what? Pro wrestlers are strong. Exactly. I'm Ooh. gonna mention some names and, and just give me like what your thoughts on some yeah. of the guys that were in OVW at the time. Cody Rhodes when you were down there. Ha! <laughs> Cody, Co Cody and I, we, we, he's like a little brother to me. You know, we have this little, we like to give each other the shots and rib each other, and we had the muscle man. Do you know? You ever hear of muscle mania? Not sure. Oh my god, Cody, you know he was in good shape, and there was years there where I was out of shape, and I wore a singlet, and I was a comedy guy. So we were on a European tour, and. He said something about, we were just, we were drinking on the bus, and he said something about being fat. And I said, I said, I have a better bodybuilding physique than you. Like, for, in terms of the, the raw genetic potential one would need to be a bodybuilder. Right. And he was, like, appalled by that. Huh. And so we called it. We had a showdown. This is November. And we said, let's have a bodybuilding contest <laughs> at the after party at WrestleMania, which was, let's say, April 1st-ish. Right. Uh, this is Houston. Houston WrestleMania. And, you know, everyone on the bus kind of egged us on and, and we picked a date and, and, you know, it was on and we couldn't back out of it. Uh, T-shirts were made. Um, muscle mania became a big thing. And it was the poor guy. It was the tortoise and the hare. And he was in shape already. He had abs and he was in great shape and he really looked awesome, you know. And he just had to watch me just slowly get in shape. And everyone would be like, oh, he's gaining on you. He's going to be like, enough, stop it. You know, right. he even took me aside. He's like, I don't want to do this anymore. I said, <laughs> well, unfortunately, I need this. Okay, we have to right. keep going. So Jan as of January, as I cleaned up my diet a bit at the end of the year. But January 1st, I started hard. And I was like 223 pounds. On stage, I was 203 pounds. And I mean, I took it serious. I got a posing coach. I got a nutritionist. And yeah, I, I this wanted... This is the Pop the Boys? This is just... Between you guys. Man versus man bodybuilding contest, and I ended up winning it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah.